That's a fact. Yes. What up, everybody? It's your boy SGFL. We are back with another video. You dig? And we got the Moose Lord back in the building. Y'all remember Moose Lord, right? He gave us that banger of a track, Macabre and Murder. Where he hit me up, he was like, SG. I know I said I had an album coming. It's still coming. It's got to push it back a little bit. I'm like, cool. But I got a single for you. It's called Step Back. We here, man. You know what I'm saying? We here. We're going to take a listen to this Step Back track from Moose Lord, man. This is what I like about the up and coming artist, man, because it's the same thing with the sports and it is in the music industry, man. It's like, you know, people, you got the LeBrons, you got the Jordans, you got the Kobe's, you got everybody, the Steph's, you got all the big hitters in the industry, right? But they always know there is someone out there who's not in the league that is 10 times better it is it's just they had a life life hit them circumstance where they couldn't push and it's the same thing with music man you got all these billboard top 100 artists out there who they like it's the, they're the best in the world there is someone out there who is 10 times better than the best artist that has never been discovered but they got that talent you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it now i used to work in a jail and you know everybody rapping i heard some of the firest rappers in jail not gonna lie I was like, man, you good. You mean you get out, you need to do something with yourself, man. I mean, fire bars, fire. Never made it. You know what I mean? So uh, that's why I love the up and coming artists, man. That's why I go so hard for them because they could be the next and they will be the next one that you'll see on Good Morning America on your TV screens in your playlist. You know what I'm saying? They just need that shot. And if I can do my little part, we're here for it. Moose Lord. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Slide on over to his page. Every do all that YouTube stuff, man. It helps out. And we're gonna take a listen right now to this step back single. I already like the black and white premise. It's giving me macabre and murder V2. Let's go. Mm. Mm. That's kind of familiar. Like we're in the elevator. Please don't work the acne with your motherfucker. I'll just smash the knee, nagging me, nagging. attacking me like it yeah, works. Bit was blast for me, straight blasting me, dragging me down in the ground drastically. So I'm hacking heat with raps I can see on my paper, ready to box the thought of raps in it. Nature, it's a skill that can pay the bills. If pay the bills, facts. Enough ill to be unable to be killed, but huh. to bring Back to the time I started the snap Screaming, running it back Flips down in the tap mm. Picking up slack black. Smoking a pack And all I gotta say to the bitches That a whack is Please <laughs> step back from me That's a fact Step back for me, shorty. Here it is. Her to spit. The fact is, you can get paid like an actress if you do what I say to the exactness. Sell nicotine to already addicted teens. Serpentine, mugging me. That's how you that get your green. Bean making machine. But I'm not a fiend. Sell nicotine to a nicotine. Come on, I'm waiting for someone to stir the pot. My hands are on, ready to deliver the shot. And seize the spot. I don't got Blow like you consume by making you zoom back to your tomb. I brought a broom to clean when it blooms. Oh, I was hoping that chorus came back in. Please step back from me. Hey, I was <laughs> Moose Lord, man. Moose Lord would step back that that beat man it, was, it gave me like a retro vibe like it's like it's I'm black and white i mean it was like it, you know you see like them old popeye films so like at them old uh 1920s 30s 40s i love lucy's type movies man that's that music they playing like in that old jukebox you can just man i feel like it should be on nba street v2 you know what i mean volume two y'all remember that little old retro hip-hop style aspect man like it's a certain it's a very unique and like sounding type of beat that came from that era of music man and like i said you replicate that and then go it's it's, it's nice it, it works it works 100 
And the main thing is with, with Moose Lord, man, it, it seems effortless the way he got his talking points, man. He know what he wants to talk about. I mean, the wordplay and the bars is there. You know what I mean? It's always where you can always ask for more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? People can get super lyrical, but when you do it just the right amount, where like I said, I love it when I can catch it on the first go around. I don't got a... I ain't got time to listen to songs 28 times to get the meaning of it. You know what I'm saying? First time, best time. You know what I'm saying? You got that first impression. You get one time to impress somebody, and it's the first time. That's what I liked about it, man. It's, I don't know why it's still like my head says, sell nicotine to addicted teens. That was clever. That was clever. I can't even cap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Moose Lord, man, drop the album. Do your thing. Keep passion in your music. That's the main thing, man. Keep passion in your music. Keep pushing your pen all right every day it's like it's like going to the gym you want to better yourself any kind of way every single time that you open your mouth all right when you writing stuff down when you want to you ain't got to do double and triple entendres unless you want to you can always better yourself and keep pushing that's all you gotta do man every time you write some type of lyrics down man try to better the next version of that make the next sentence better than the previous sentence and like i say it's a, it's a recipe for success, you know what I mean? Because it's there, the cadence is already there. You already got the flip bar. Beats is amazing. I like the beat selection, it's great. You know I mean, that's one of the main things that gets people around. Because you know how many times I skip over a song because I heard my own, like, oh, I don't like this beat. It don't grab you. You know what I'm saying? It don't grab you. As soon as this thing came in, like, man, I feel like I'm back in the in the 20s right now. Like, I'm sitting back with the peace pipe looking at black and white film. You know what I mean? Well, I can't look in black and white film. I've been on a movie because if I was actually in the 20s and 30s, I would be seeing color. But you get, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, man. I feel like you got a premise too with that macabre and murder and this stay in that lane stay in that lane don't try to reinvent the wheel what you're doing now works that's what a lot of people go wrong from is because they try to get in everybody else's boxes and they don't need to be you got your own box you got your own theme you got your own fan base stay in there and appeal to them every chance you get they are going to be the ones that's going to skyrocket you and catapult you and share your music and put other people on so make sure they are always satisfied the main thing a lot of people get selfish in their music and they want to make what they want to make which is true understandable but always make sure you fall back and you make sure that you listen to the fans and the people who actually support your music and what they're thinking and what they're saying and just never take it as like criticism all criticism is good never take it as bad i think you're disrespectful just you know just ignore them at that point but other than that always continue to better yourself and continue to push your opinion keep making these good beat selections too man addicted teens nicotine and addicted teens that's the first time i heard somebody put that together man as always man make sure you guys go ahead and support moose lord man of course the links will be in the description uh if you got socials i don't remember from last time from knife so make sure y'all check him out man tell him sgfl sent you man and as always, and it will be soon, your boy will be back for another one. Until then, I'm out.